Good day everyone. I am Jelan Angelo Kigan Elzarikos from MR4P1. Today, we are going to discuss the orifice meter from automation and process control. What is an orifice meter? An orifice meter is a piece of equipment used to measure the flow rate of a gas or a fluid. It mainly consists of an orifice plate, an orifice plate housing, and a meter tube. The materials used to construct orifice meters. Materials of construction can be whatever suits the application requirements with a basic orifice plate material being either 304 or 316 stainless steel and the flanges made of carbon steel. And those two types of stainless steel are shown in a picture below. Next is the construction of an orifice meter. As it was stated earlier, it is typically made of carbon steel and the main components of the device are the following. The inlet section, which is the green one, a linear segment extending from the device and acts as an end connection for the fluid flowing inside. Second is the outlet section, which is the blue. Also a linear segment similar to the inlet section where the pressure of the gas or fluid discharge is determined. The third one is the orifice plate, the red one, present between the outlet and inlet segments and used to generate a pressure drop which enables the measurement of the flow rate. The fourth one is the flow conditioner, installed in the inlet section of the meter tube and is used to enhance linear flow in the inlet section of the meter tube. The principle of operation of an orifice meter. It works on the differential pressure measurement principle. The liquid or gas whose flow rate is to be determined is passed through the orifice plate. This creates a pressure drop across the orifice plate which varies with the flow rate, resulting in a differential pressure between the outlet and the inlet segments. This pressure drop is measured and is used to calculate the flow rate of the fluid or gas. Next are the types of the orifice meter fittings. The first one is the single chamber. As the name suggests, it consists of a single chamber designed for the precise measurement of the flow rate of a fluid or gas. Second one is the dual chamber. It is installed in conjunction with downstream and upstream sections and comes with O-ring seals, eliminating the problem of maintaining the gasket in the device. In addition to this, a valve seal is also available for dual chamber orifice fitting. The third one is the double block and bleed. It comes with two valves for different chambers, which enhance the operational safety. It also offers protection from toxic liquids and ensures the longevity of the equipment. The applications of an orifice meter. Listed below are the two primary uses of an orifice meter. It is used to measure the flow rate of fluids in their single state and it can also be used to measure the flow rate of fluids in a mixed state such as wet steam or natural gas with water. The orifice meter is utilized in the following industries which are water treatment plants, natural gas industries, refineries, and petrochemical plants. And these are the advantages of an orifice meter. The orifice is small plates and easy to install or remove. It offers very little pressure drop from which 60% to 65% is recovered. The orifice meter can be easily maintained. It measures a wide range of flows. They have a simple construction. They have easily fitted between the flanges. They are the most suitable for most gases and liquids, and they are cheap. The price does not increase dramatically with size. And also the disadvantages of an orifice meter. It requires homogeneous fluid. It requires single phase liquid. It requires the flow of actual velocity vectors. It causes a pressure drop in the fluid. Its accuracy is affected by the density pressure and viscosity of the fluid. The range of measurement of viscosity limits of fluid. It requires straight conduits to ensure accuracy is maintained. The pipe must be totally special for the measurement of the flow of fluids 
and they have low range capacity. And that's all for today. I hope you've learned something about the RFS meter and thank you so much.